let's make a tutorial about printers, how to get the printers on my system. But first, before we do, I changed something on the website. On Arch Merch Linux GitHub, I changed this one. And you saw that, and what you do is you go to this folder and you say, get me everything from online, git pull. So I changed some things here, and there is there are some issues I see, that's too bad, makes it difficult. Well, if you have issues, merge conflict in 120, auto merging, and so on, the easiest way to do it is actually just delete these guys. That's that one, and that one, since it's not yours, it's coming from somewhere else. You say git pull again, fix them in the work tree, blah, 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 as appropriate exiting because of unresolved commit. Yeah, it's going to be even more difficult than I thought. Let's get rid of it all together. Why? Because it's not your GitHub. It's the GitHub from github.com arch merge Linux. So here we'll have all our easy scripts, 10 minutes, nine time top, and you'll have any of these AMD guys. And we're making this to be our base tutorial. And we have clicked now, we have now our copied our URL. And the only thing you have to do is type git clone. And then you'll get the latest stuff in. I know why the errors went, were, and doesn't matter. So we have um, a new version, version 2 here, and, and printers is up next, and version 2 from sound. What did I do? I just made it line by line. So you can say, okay, I'm going to try if it works without this code, and you run it. And you can just try out what's needed on your system, what's not. The printers. We have something here, but uh, this is our own. A uh, place to be. This is our own scripting, and we can. Last time I opened it right. Um, no, I opened it with mouse pad like so, and we made, explained that it to be executable. Let's make an easy uh, copy paste now. This file is already executable. It is named. So we change it to printers. That's number 130 for us, but what's inside is, of course, still blues, the Bluetooth. Save. Okay. Where on the net am I going to find information about the printers? No, Eric. Google.be first, and then ArchWiki, and then printers. Or printing. Whatever is best. And we end up in cups or printing, one of those. I would suggest to go to cups because that's the name, that's the one that's going to provide your printing. And it's actually a program. Okay, we're already set to type it in, pseudo pacman and so on. And let's do it straight away here. So we need to do pseudo pacman minus s and then cups it says save done that's that can we run it straight away probably we can open in terminal and then 130 just do it type again type enter with a slash this time and then a lot of things come in so this little package here supports or gives these things there are dependencies and there's the package itself yep -la. there we go okay nothing special to read uh -huh. if you want to print into a pdf document you also need to install cups pdf i don't think i've installed it that sounds like a good idea excuse me do i have it installed oh yeah i do all right Fine. No improvement for Arch Merch. So, Cups PDF. Done. What else? You read the lines. You have to enable and start. And there, things go already wrong. What does that mean? They assume 
you know that it means sudo systemctl and then enable something enable what and then you don't know it they say the name locally here but normally they don't say it so i'm gonna look for you together so we have installed this here you first need to install cups if you don't install cups you don't know what to type systemctl enable enable something with a c cups and here we have cups browsed service okay that's too bad because that's not the one we need to enable <laughs> that's how it goes so it, they want us to enable the org dot cops and so on so org indeed indeed there is something called org cops path and service and socket and lpd and then you hair becomes all gray and i say what but luckily for us it says here what we need to uh, test software need to install it's not a test for us anymore we can just say cups and then service oh. cups d and then service yes now it's ready not going to install this way i'm going to install it via my scripts let's do a copy paste see if you still know if you select this control shift c get in here control v there you go without the other enable too much safe so that's something i have already and we are working let's get rid of that let's get rid of that can we get rid of that as well yep so we are working for this setup where did i come up with all the rest okay so go scripts and so on and so on and here we have this thing we just typed system enable or cops and so on yeah that's the one check so how did we find the other elements well we scroll down i guess and we went to look in 6.1 this will be activated samba as well the fumetic hmm. did i not install it i don't see it in the script here It provides PPDs for many printer drivers, both free and non-free. So the Fumetic is actually a way to find drivers for your printers. And I have to make a note of that to check if I've installed that on ArchMerge. I think so, but I want to be sure I did. So install the Fumetic DB engine, they say. Fine. So that's something interesting. Foo, 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 matic, matic, really, formatic, db, and good copy paste. I know. Wow. Formatic database engine. And at least one of those. Okay, collected knowledge about printer drives and driver options XML files used by to generate the PPD. So I need one of those. Question is which one? Okay, so we could say whatever. Get me those. Put this another line and say sudo packon ISS and then the engine with all its drivers, with all its settings. We have to clean it up. Or is not a pacman command. Neither is. 
the space with a comma. And this comma. And now we're going to put this in front of it. So get me everything from Formatic Database Engine and not sure if we need all of them or some of them, but I've got, we're on VirtualBox, what can go wrong? So we get all of them and we save. The Formatic will require additional filters such as Guten Print. There we go. Now we are talking. So if we install this thing, it requires maybe that one or that one. And yes, fonts may also be required. And that's why I came up with all these other elements. So why the Guten Print and the GS font? Because I read text at some point in time. I said, gonna put it in. So, sudo pacman minus s control v read it somewhere then it was maybe a good idea to install it i think we're missing one there are three here and i don't think i had three coscript gs fonts and coscript gs fonts and Guten print. So Guten print Gutenberg. Okay, that's done. Let's save Eric. Let's see what we have. So we have the cups and the cups PDF. That's what we have here. That's fine. Then we have the ghost script to give from lip cups. We don't have that. Lip cups. And we have one missing here. So lip cups. Where does this come from? Control find lip cups oh yeah without a local cup server this requires installation of the lip cups package some application will still require the cups package for printing okay without a local cup server that's why it was in Okay, not sure if we need this, not sure at all. That's uh, something for me to test out at a later stage, to see if we can do without it. Lip cups, all right. What else? Lip cups, HP lip. That sounds like an HP printer something. HP lip is present on this page or not? No, that's history, Eric. Control find HP lip. I must have seen it somewhere else to have HP lip for Arch Linux. HP lip. What is this? Printer specific problem or HP lip? Wiki Arch Linux. Control find HP lip. Here is the HP drivers. So HP Lib provides drivers, HP test chat, office chat, photo smart. That's what I have. Business, no, what I used to have, excuse me. I have a Canon now. And HP setup and so on and so on. Okay, so if you have an HP, you install it. If you don't have an HP, don't install it. So that's something we really need to keep or set apart. So HP Lib, that's that one. We found that also on the net. Pacman minus S HP lib if you have an H printer. What else? System config printer. You need to have that really. You need it's so easy to configure. It's just a little application that you say that's my printer, set it as default, and that's the main configuration tool. How do I know that? System config printer. Let's see if I can find it here. Control find, control V. Oh yeah, there we go. 
So at some point in time, I decided to go with system config rather than GTKLP or print manager, which is for KDE and we're not having KDE here. We're budgie with GNOME. So this is the best. I mean, GNOME and budgie, they belong to each other. So system config printer is the only logical choice for you. So we had, we add this one to this line as well little pacman minus s save and i guess we are now we have the same thing we have an even more because we um, discovered this foomatic i said hmm, it's not in the script yet we can now add these things in front of it so you can put them in here or you can put them behind it it doesn't really care where you put it it's easier for me to put it at the end. And our script is ready. So, checking for typos because, yeah, it's sensitive. It's so sensitive. And now we can go ahead and try to install under 30 again. If it's already installed, it's going to be skipped. If not, it's going to be installed. And da -da -da -da. so conflicting packages, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I scrolled up too, too high. Here we are, I think, skipping skipping and so on see nothing strange a warning it's up to date already skipping so that's okay that's cool that's what i want you to do to skip it if it's already there and this is our symlink again so everything is now set up where and what do i have i have hp lib hp device manager i have where else where else where else where else print settings so the gnome setting and then you oh yeah we have to connect i'm thinking about something um start service not connected do we need to log off log on i don't know really i guess we do but because everything is installed um, let's quickly post it to the net so we've done the printers and create mode 130 printers is online now you could check and see if it's online if we went to github.com and then it's arch merged that's how i call it and here we have the budgie and the 40 is here the printers are here the things we've done are here this thing can crash we have our github we have the scripts um, everything can be installed quickly again let's quickly reboot because i'm really thinking i forgot something here and um, rebooting is up here we start we start and off we go I wonder if now everything is in order. So, looking again, maybe system tools, voila, manage printing. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. No, we are actually on a website. Don't like these things, that is possible too. Uh, so, print settings is better. There are no printers configured yet. Duh. And then we say we add a printer. Everything is now working, as you can see. It was a reboot, that's all it needed. Not sure. I guess the communication from VirtualBox to my own network will not let my printer through. So that's, um, I cannot show you, but it will pop up in here and you say, okay, add it. And that's it. Everything will be just working out of the box now. 
So a reboot, remember that that's uh, what you need and then you can print. All right, enjoy.